reveal it to me. We're very close to Hecuba's lair. Tell me the look. Oh, the vial is going to lead us. Lead us, vial. Show us the way to the mysterious object that we need to separate Charity and Miguel. Of course, if Charity and Miguel went into the maze, we might not need the object at all. Why? I told you, lad. Because the maze attracts evil and negative energy, affecting all the couples who enter into it. Hecuba created it hundreds of years ago on what is now the Crane property. Hecuba created the maze? Oh, yes. Definitely one of her finer moments. <laughs> oh, we had some witching good times down here, Timmy, the two of us. <laughs> we developed this potion and we used it to foul up things between couples. Oh, oh, the sweet havoc we wreaked among mortal minds. <laughs> Maybe the potion's still down here. <laughs> probably too much to ask for, hoping to find that potion. But what we can hope for is that some of Harmony's brightest couples find their way into the maze tonight. <laughs> and if they do, their relationships will be damaged beyond repair. If they go beyond the maze's gate, Wait a minute. Back up here, man. The maze is supposed to do what? <laughs> well, it reveals true love. Look, it, it said the maze will bring together couples that are supposed to be together. But it also reveals lies and uncovers secrets. What if Ethan learns my secret? That I knew he wasn't a crane and didn't tell him? Simone, this is way creepy. I mean, what if... The maze reveals your scheme to seduce Miguel, get pregnant, and steal him away from charity? Hmm. I wonder how that will go over. Oh, what's wrong? What, none of you want to go in? Uh, I, I don't know, man. I mean... It just kind of freaks us out a little, that's all. No, look, the maze is fun. Don't be scared off by what I've said. And it's just a legend. It's not real. Come on. All right. Yo, I'm game. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I mean, like, like when was this maze built? You know, how long has it been here? Well, I, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, my, my Julian told me that this was here before the Crane Mansion was ever built. Uh, you guys are going to love it. I mean, there are dozens and dozens of passageways. I mean, I used to run through here all the time when I was a kid. You know, and, and the maze is arranged in a way that you can't even tell how it works from the air. Okay, but Ethan, how, how does it work? Is it like a game or maybe a... Yes, yes, it's, it's like a game. A, a game for lovers. Look, the legend is the maze shows whether or not lovers are truly meant to be together. This maze will definitely show that Miguel and I are supposed to be together. It's just an old wives' tale, right? I mean, the thing about revealing secrets... Let's just go in there and, and have fun. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have fun. You know, Chad, from what I saw earlier, uh, I guess you haven't told Simone that you're in love with her sister yet, huh? Well, Whitney we didn't want to embarrass her at the party. Yeah, of course. Oh, I'm ready to go into the maze with my boyfriend. <laughs> I've had enough of this. You can't just get up and walk out. Look, I want to go home to my wife. But she wants you. Look, I know she wants us to spend time together, resolve things. I just don't have any feelings for you, Ivy. Well, I'm not convinced. Well, I'm not sure that concerns me. Well, it should. Grace won't be convinced until I am convinced. Well, I don't know what more I can do, short of getting a court order. She wants to hear it from me, Sam. Grace needs to know that I know. Well, I'm not sure that I can trust that you're going to keep your word, Ivy. Cross my heart. 
So are you going to call her and tell her that I don't have any feelings for you? Yeah. Just as soon as you convince me. How? Come up to my bedroom. Era, if you could take the guns down the hall to the first room on the right. The door's open. There's a safe inside. Put the guns in there. I'd be forever in your debt. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> yes. And how is our plan to split Luis and Sheridan developing? And I want good news. Everything is running perfectly, Father. Louise suspects nothing. And Sheridan? Well, she's uh, receiving a very unsettling phone call as we speak. Damn it, you promised you would make love to me tonight. That you would make some time for me. I hate this party and I hate being alone. Now come make love to me like you promised. Come on, baby. You told me that spoiled little debutante had nothing compared so prove it to me, big boy. Come to me. Forget little Miss Moneybags, because I've got everything you've ever needed. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet How does Maze reveal when a couple's truly in love? Well, um, legend has it that in the center of the maze is a love square. Ooh, love a square, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and the first couple to make it to this square will live and love together forever. And all that is good will be bestowed on them. Hmm. Well, I hope it's us. I hope that we get there first. <laughs> Fat chance. Me that I'm gonna come to you. I don't care what your rich little fiance has to say. I'm gonna find your lover. Now meet you where you said you would. I'll be waiting. Come to me now, baby. What is going on? Who is this? Let's hope the phone call does the trick then. How could it miss? And the modifications that I made to your plan, they're being followed to the letter, yes? Yes. I assure you, I've taken care of everything. The plan is for Sheridan to ultimately discover the Luis imposter in bed with another woman. Everything's going according to Hoyle. I'm sure Sheridan's still on her, her phone call to Dee Dee, staggered by what she's hearing. And Luis, he hasn't a clue as to what we're up to. Are you wrong? 
I know exactly what you're up to. Sheridan wants to know who he is. So, just, just ask her who she is. Who is this? Sheridan Crane. Bravo, Dee Dee, bravo. Oh, I can't wait to tell Julian that the first part of our plan went off without a hitch. She don't think I have any idea what you're up to. Whatever could you mean, Louise? Yeah, everyone warned me about this party, that you had an ulterior motive, and I believe them. No one had to warn me that the cranes are up to something. Cranes are always up to something. <coughs> really, Louise? After all we've done, of throwing this engagement party for you and Sheridan, this is how you respond. Oh, no, it's worked, Julian. You've made Sheridan a very happy woman. She actually started to believe that you and Alistair actually care about her. Hell, I even started to believe it myself. But I know your motive. I see the reason that you're throwing this party. Now you're trying to make nice with me. Trying to soften me up so I'll forget about my father's disappearance. Luis, please, that's ridiculous. But I'm not here to cause a scene. I'm just putting the both of you on notice. I'm never going to forget about what happened to my father. And I'll follow any lead. If it leads to you, Alistair, or if that leads to you, Julian. Heaven help you. Fantastic speech, wouldn't you say, Father? We always did know the Lopez Fitzgeralds were a passionate bunch. Keep me informed, Julian. Luis thinks he can threaten, but he's utterly in the dark. He'll never find a lead concerning his father's disappearance, because after tonight he'll never be this close to the Crane family again. Get to work. God, I have to relax. I take my mind off everything. <clears throat> to success. It seems that I was wrong. Your magic lingers on. Every moment you're gone. Oh. Only father hadn't torn us apart. Oh, so many years ago. So, sweetheart, you have an okay time? Well, I'm having as okay a time as I can have at the Crane Mansion. You know, I am never comfortable here. Do you see? Yes, honey. I know you don't like to talk about your past, your knee, or the shed. Hatred of Julian Crane. But is there anything that I can do to help? No, but it's great to know that I have a very supportive wife. And I promise not to embarrass you tonight. What? Well, sweetheart, you know how I am. Every time I'm at one of these Crane functions, I'm always ready to come to bows with Julian. But I promise tonight I'm going to keep my temper in check. <laughs> not unless I walk in on you and Julian making love. <laughs> Sweetheart, do you remember when we were at the hospital and I was, well, we were all looking at the DNA test results for Chad? Yeah. <sighs> Sweetheart, I can't believe that I started to think that you and Julian once had an affair. I'm sorry for suspecting something like that. Help Julian move his guns? Yeah, part of it. I had a little heart to heart with Julian and Alistair before we could finish. About what? Well, I just wanted to let him know that I'm not giving up trying to find out what happened to Papa. You didn't anger them, did you? I sort of, I did. Well, if they weren't planning on destroying your relationship with Sheridan before, they will now. Well, well look, Sheridan and I love each other, okay? And there's nothing that they can do to separate us. Luis. Yeah. Do you 
Did you ask some woman to meet you here at the party? You keep pictures of your son in a safe? Well, there are some things I don't want Julian to see. What's that? Nothing. Mike. When was this taken? Oh, at the summer carnival one year. I knew you'd be at the police department's booth, so I had Pilar bring Ethan over so you could have your picture taken together. Why send Pilar? I was afraid that if you saw me with Ethan, you would know he was yours. It's a good picture, don't you think? Father, son. For years, that picture was all I had. And when things got tough, I don't have to tell you about my marriage. <laughs> Julian, you know what it is. What it was. That picture, it, it always reminded me of you, of, of us. And I cherished it. I still do. For a long time, that picture was all I had in the world. Is everyone ready? Yep. We are. Can we go in first? Well, actually, I forgot to tell you, you can't go in as a couple. What? Why uh, not? Yeah, I, so. No, that's one of the rules. You have to go in separately, at least uh, five seconds between. And you can't go in and then wait for your significant other. <laughs> that's why the game's so hard. You, you have to find the love square on your own, separately. Uh, game's getting a little tough, ain't it? Well, hey, no one said true love was easy. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to hear another word how you and Miguel are going to come out of that maze with your arms around each other. You'll see. No. You'll see. Chad and I are going to meet in that love square together, and nobody's going to stop us. Okay, people. Let the game begin. Let's do it. Wait, wait. <laughs> What's this? Oh, oh yeah, that's the plaque. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah? What's it say, man? Enter here only those pure of heart, pure of intentions and love, and those with nothing to hide. All others, may God have mercy on your soul. What do you think you're doing? Just being a friend, saying hello. Just leave me alone, Julian, because you know that GC will go crazy if he sees us together. You know, I was just thinking, or <clears throat> was remembering a certain night many years ago when I first heard you sing at the club. I happened to be listening to a tape of you just now. Stunning voice, dazzling. Where did you get a tape of me singing? Had it made, we were together. I was going to promote your career, but then... I got pregnant and you abandoned me. Not that that matters now, but that tape does matter. What are you trying to do, Julian? Destroy me? Never. I have worked very hard to keep my past a secret. If someone hears that tape, especially TC, I'll lose everything. I'm sorry, darling, but that tape and others like it are among my prized possessions. I listen to it whenever I want to be taken back to the past, what we had. Yes, well, look what the secrets of the past have done for your family, for the Bennets, for Ethan. Just leave the past alone, Julian, and leave me alone. You got it? If only things had been different between us, sweet Eve. If only I'd had the courage to stand up to my father. 
Who's calling you, Luis? Calling me? I, I don't understand who would do this. Well, the only people who have my cell phone number besides you are uh, police department, my family. Teresa, Miguel, Mom, did you just call me? No. No, I would have recognized your mother's voice. This voice, I had never heard it before. It's a woman? Asking you to meet her somewhere. She asked for me specifically, Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. You know what? I don't remember her saying your name. Yeah. It's been a wrong number. What else did she say? Well, she mentioned a party and meeting you. Not specifically you, but whoever she was calling. Did you ask anyone to meet you here tonight? No. Sounds suspicious, doesn't it? I warned you about the cranes trying to do something at the party. No, if my family was going to try and do something to us, they, they wouldn't do it with a phone call. Oh, hold on. You know what? It could be the guys at the station playing a joke. They know the party's tonight. Get to the bottom of this right now. Looks like trouble in paradise. <laughs> We're here. Jimmy doesn't see anything. <laughs> That's exactly how Hecuba wanted it. But yours truly remembers the secret entrance. Watch this. Sesame! is the place where we can ruin the lives of everyone in harmony. <laughs> you know, I suppose I don't have to keep the rest of these photos in my safe anymore. Well, now that the entire world knows my secret. Hmm? Maybe I should just put them up on the wall, let the whole world see. Damn it, Ivy, I told you not to pull any of your tricks. It's not a trick, Sam. I was just showing you some pictures. You know, instead of accusing me of trying to manipulate you, maybe you should ask yourself why these photos make you so angry, Sam. They're just old pictures. You have nothing to fear from a bunch of old photographs of us. Unless, of course, you're worried that... These pictures might awaken some feelings you've buried deep inside of you. Is that what's going on, Sam? Are you afraid that these pictures could uh, spark the fire that you used to feel for me? Look at him, squirming, desperately trying to explain the phone call. <laughs> Didi, you were magnificent. Yes, I was, wasn't I? <laughs> All right. I'm sorry to bother you. Guys at the station house swear up and down that it wasn't them. It's so strange. I don't know what to think now. This is just a hell of a wrong number. If only you'd heard it. Mom, are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go mingle a little bit, enjoy the party. I'll see you two later. Hmm? All right. Okay. Guess some guy out there is in a hell of a lot of trouble, huh? <laughs> Big time. Yeah. I'm just happy to know I can trust you no matter what. No matter what? What is going on? This
this was supposed to cause a big fight. What? Dear Lord, don't tell me it brought them closer together. Uh, Julian, our plan is not working. It is not working at all. This is it, Timmy. You see? Kay's soul isn't glowing anymore. <laughs> and that means... <sighs> that means that... The object we're looking for to separate Charity and Miguel is somewhere here in Hecuba's lair. But what is it? I don't know. Maybe it's one of these potions, perhaps? Oh, oh Timmy, 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 be careful. Oh. Now listen, these potions are incredibly powerful. If you broke the wrong one, it, it could kill both of us. Jimmy, sorry, he didn't know. No, well, it's all right, that just, just, just let me handle everything around here, okay? You're the witch, Tabby. Yes, that I am. Oh, Timmy, haven't we reaped upon the good citizens of Harmony from this place? What sweet memories. <laughs> Stuffy down here. Yes, well, don't worry. Once we find the object that will rip Charity and Miguel apart, we'll we'll get out of here and go straight to work. How does that sound? It sounds like rumbling. Oh no, no damn that! We've got to stop that stone closing. Oh, Fatty, hell! But Tevi, isn't there a way to open the door on this side of the wall? No. Was supposed to stay open until we left. There's no other way out, Timmy. No, we're trapped like rats in a cage. Does that mean Timmy and Tabby won't be able to separate Miguel and Cherry? It means worse than that, Timmy. Oh, Timmy hates to ask. But how much worse? Well, it could mean that we're. We're trapped in here for all eternity. Oh no! No more martinis! There are no feelings inside me to be awakened, Ivy. You need to let go of the past. But I can't. It was the best time of my life. Maybe for you. But my best times have been with Grace. No. No, that can't be true. The past is the past. But ours was never resolved, Sam. And love and passion, those aren't things that just stop because a certain amount of time has elapsed. Our past is alive only because you're keeping it alive. These photos have you clinging to something that was over a long time ago. Because we were ripped apart. No, you kept us apart. And I was sorry about that, but I kept you close. The locket you gave me, I've kept it with me always. I, I wanted to keep your love with me. No. No. I don't have feelings for you anymore. Now you keep it, you wear it, whatever you want to do with it. But it has nothing to do with what's really going on, and you know it. What are you doing? These belong in your safe. They don't belong in the real world. These pictures are your past, like our love. It's over, Ivy. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> OK. I'm going to go in first, and then everyone follows separately. Got it. And I will see you in the love square. Okay, Teresa, you're next. <laughs> Good luck. Bye con Dios. <laughs> Love Square is waiting for us, Chad. Chad, I hate this. I feel so horrible for her. All right, well, hey, look, we'll tell her the truth, all right, once we can figure out a way not to embarrass her. But for now, we'll have some fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me see that smile. Let me see it. Mm. Yeah, there it is. Mm. I'll see you soon. Okay. Mm. 
Everybody in? Almost. I am so excited. We're gonna get there first, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Half right. He'll be there with me. I just saw you with Julian. What did he want? Just hospital business. Well, he touched your arm. Honey, please, don't let Julian get to you. Yeah, you're right, honey. Maybe I just need to just get away from this party for a minute. Just clear my head. Well, I'll join you in a minute. <sighs> okay, uh, sounds good. TC, if you found out about Julian and me, you'd never stay calm. You killed Julian. And me. You hungry? For food. <laughs> Why don't I go rustle us up something to eat? Sounds great. Right. I love you. I love you too. It won't be long. It won't. <laughs> oh, I thought at the very least that phone call would provoke a, a screaming match. No, no, no. Patience, Rebecca. We're laying the foundation. We're planting the seeds of doubt in Sheridan's mind. Once she sees the imposter with Dee Dee, she'll have to buy it. You are ready for me now? Well, where's the mask? It was getting too hot. You can put it on quick, don't worry. and shared and never know what hit them. <laughs> Let the tape running. Well, I better get in there before TC hears it. Guess I could never explain how Julian got that tape. You are the one keeping this fantasy alive, not me. It wasn't a fantasy, Sam. It was real. Our past was real. What is happening now is real. I'm not the one keeping this alive, Sam. We are. You remember what it was like between us. I know you do. Can't you feel it now, Sam? Can't you feel the fire? This is unreal. Chad, you there? Miguel, Charity, Kay, are you guys in? 
I'm going in first. Okay. I'll see you. <laughs> oh, I'll go in next, Charity. Oh, oh, you've broken the vial, Jimmy. We're done for. What is it? What is Jimmy done? Wait, wait a minute. I think you found it. Found what? The potion. Potion I was telling you about. The potion that confuses people in relationships. Hecuba used it to cause all sorts of pain and suffering. Oh, Tim Tim. This mist, when it hits the good people of Harmony, they can all kiss their romances goodbye. <laughs> Imposter does look perfect. The plan will work. Luis and Sheridan are history. You seem so sure. They don't stand a chance. I want to see the look on Sheridan's face when phase two of our plan kicks in. Oh. I wonder who that crazy woman was who called Luis. Some poor guy's going to get an earful when he gets home tonight. 